So far, it is rather small-scale demonstrations that have popped up in various parts of the country opposed to President Trump's rescinding of DACA. I want to, be, uh, I want to bring in now Lieutenant Governor of uh, Great State of Texas, Dan Patrick, clearly an immigration state, clearly a state with a lot of, uh, of dreamers who, who don't want to leave the country. Lieutenant Governor, what do you make of this rescinding of the, uh, President Obama's DACA idea? And Stuart, I uh, apologize. I usually have a shirt and tie on for you, but uh, we're still in hurricane mode here, uh, so a little uh, less formal today uh, with you. Well, first of all, uh, as uh, Attorney General Sessions said, we cannot let everyone in our country, um, Stuart, and I know this is difficult for some. Some of these children that came here when they were young, uh, through no fault of their own and, and brought here by their parents. But we're not going to have control of the border until we address all of these issues. And all of these magnets, whether they're sanctuary cities, which the Texas Senate passed a bill, I know we're going through the court process with that, and I believe we'll, we'll uh, prevail in that. But you can't have sanctuary cities. You can't have people crossing the border and bringing their families with them and saying, well, that, that uh, gives our family some right to stay. We have to have order on our border. But we it, have to have but, the wall. We have to have security. But it has to be Congress which lays down the law. It has to be Congress that deals with this situation. And th there's no choice. I mean, President Trump right. could not keep the DACA program in place. It's unconstitutional and struck down by the courts. Correct. He had to no, hand no, it I, off to Congress yeah. and get on with it. No, uh, Stuart, I agree with you. Look, uh, President Obama did not do these uh, uh, individuals any favor by granting him granting them this temporary relief uh, the president is doing the right thing the attorney general is doing the right thing and Congress has to deal with this I've said this many times Stuart and when I ran for lieutenant governor four years ago when Greg Abbott and I both ran we both took a very strong stand on uh, securing our border and not allowing anyone to come to this country uh, there's a tremendous cost to it uh, by the way, uh, if everyone comes here in our education system, our health care system, yep. um, we have to have control of this border. And Congress needs to come together and pass and legal act. immigration reform. Okay. But this is just a part of this. Lieutenant and Governor Dan Patrick, I'm, I'm up against one of these hard breaks. You know how it is. I understand. But I support the President's us. decision today. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it.